Okay, welcome back to the Car Doctor Studio. I'm Tim, and I appreciate you stopping by. It's a cool place to be. Anyway, today we've got a uh, project we're working on. I'm gonna actually put an LED light bar on this old shop truck. The old shop truck uh, still needs a little bit of uh, love on the engine side of things, but uh, hey, what redneck mechanic uh, wouldn't, wouldn't like a uh, 52 inch curved LED light bar on top of their shop truck. Well, this one would, so that's what we're gonna do today. I've got the uh, Oxbeam 52 inch LED light bar, which I picked up off of Amazon, and uh, it's a highly rated unit uh, in appearance. It's a very robust unit. We'll uh, have to see how things work out. It's got some pretty cool features as well. It's got a uh, actually a daytime running lamp feature uh, as well as spot and flood beam panels that attach over the front face and uh, should do the trick get things lit up uh, you know here in Alaska long dark winters uh, we need stuff like this I do a lot of highway driving and this is going to come in real handy so uh, We'll go ahead and get started putting this thing on. I, I see that uh, by the instructions it shows that I'm gonna need to drill a couple holes in the top. I'm not really worried about it. Uh, and they do have nice little rubber weather proofing grommets uh, that go under these pedestals uh, for the side mounts that I'm using. It also does have a rear mount available on this. And, and if I was mounting it up front, I might do that. But I'm using these uh, nice little robust side mounts and the little rubber grommets, but I will have to drill a hole in either side of the uh, roof of the cab. Uh, and uh, also I'm gonna need to drop the, um, the headliner so that I can uh, access those and, and uh, route the wiring through there and all that. So that's what I'm gonna do first off, just kind of drop that headliner down and uh, prepare it for a couple holes. So my shop truck here is a 93 F350. In case you were wondering, and it looks pretty easy to drop the headliner. I just remove these uh, sun visors. And a little bit of trim panel. I've been needing to do this anyway, since I have some dents in the cab roof that I need to pop out and I can't really get at it without pulling this stuff off. So. Kill two birds with one stone here. Well, first complication I got is double wall um, cab roof, which is cool, but uh, I'm gonna have to cut uh, holes in this side. Um, but what I'll do is I'll mark and drill my holes for the light bar mounts, and I'll use an extra long drill bit, and I'll come all the way through, and then I can just dr drill a, a bigger hole on the, the inner side panel 
so that enough to, to where I can get a, a nut on this back side. And uh, yeah, that should work. Okay, I'm just gonna have to find center on here. Uh, here's one of the dents I gotta try to get out. Um, but uh, just kind of trying to find center and I'm just gonna make some measurements and stick the light bar up here. center on the holes is approximately 53 and a half inches and let's see the overall cab width is going to be tough So I got 61. So 60 and three quarters. So and I'm looking at 53 and a half. Um, so basically uh, seven inches, so basically three and a half uh, inches in on either side. brother got me this dent puller thing a long time ago and I never tried it but what do you maybe that'll nah. Good enough.
one nice feature of this kit is it comes with tamper-proof Allen heads, uh, you know, to prevent or at least deter theft. I don't know if it'll prevent it. Um, and which is another reason why I'm deciding to mount it on top of the roof, maybe a little less accessible. Now I just uh, install my rubber gasket. Retaining bolt. I'm going to put a little bit of high quality RTV around the hole to help resist uh, water intrusion. I'm going to add a little blue Loctite to my hardware. Looking pretty beefy. Looks good up there. All right, so I'm wiring this thing up, but uh, it doesn't really have any wiring instructions at all. I contacted the company and 
Uh, they said they've been having some issues. Some of the kits have been coming with instructions and some not, but they promised me that the problem's being rectified. And uh, they say they're sending me some uh, a wiring uh, wiring installation instruction manual. Uh, but anyway, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's, uh, there's two relays, two fuses, a main power and ground. Um, I did add some additional uh, uh, conduit um, just for protection. Uh, these smaller wires didn't have any uh, real uh, conduit. The, the larger ones do, um, but I have a lot of sharp uh, sharp edges on my truck. Here's the, the larger ones have this, this plastic wrap around it, which that's cool, but uh, I thought I'd add some flexible conduit. Um, so anyway, I've got that rigged up and then uh, I've got the switch actually in there already and I'll pass this through the firewall. Um, the main harness will connect to the to the light. I'm just gonna um, solder and shrink tubing that and uh, this connection will be hidden under the um, A pillar and uh, and then the rest of this will mount in the engine compartment. I'll just put a couple uh, um, self-tapping screws into the self-drilling screws uh, to retain the relays and then you connect the switch mechanisms.
All right, it's a perfectly snowy, dark winter morning here in Anchorage, Alaska, but perfect conditions for checking out our new light bar. Let's take it for a spin. regular headlights there's the driving light option daytime running lights spot one thing I hadn't mentioned is the little flood light panels that comes with four of these panels that actually clip over the front face of the light bar and kind of diffuse the light and create more of a flood pattern. I'll check those out later. And I'll also update this video in the description area if I run into any uh, weird stuff over the next six months or so. Don't really anticipate that. I'll also drop a link in the description for this, this product on Amazon and you can check out the other aux beam products as well um, you know other than the little snafu with the wiring diagram not being included in the packaging and uh, probably not the most detailed instructions for installation of the light bar itself the company said they're working out those issues and they did get back to me pretty quickly. So uh, I think overall it's a fairly decent uh, product for what you pay considering uh, uh, what the higher end units go for. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thanks again and we appreciate the subscriptions to our channel. And we'll talk to you next time. Take care.